Hello. Hi, my name is Helena. I'm a creative singer-songwriter and dancer sometimes. And this is my scoliosis journey. I've decided that I want to share this story because I think it will help some people if you're going through scoliosis or even if you're interested in what the heck happened when I was 15, 16, then stay tuned because it is a spicy story. What is scoliosis? Scoliosis is a back problem that you can get where instead of your spine growing straight, it can curve. Um, it can curve in one place, you can have two curves. And mine ended up cutting two places and it looked like this. How did I find out that I even had it? Well, when I was 15, I was playing with my baby cousins on the floor and I was leaning over like this um, to help pick something up. And my auntie saw it and she looked at me and she was like, oh my gosh, you have a hump on your back. You look like a camel. She was like, a me? Moi? So the next day we went to the GPs and I think we must have had a younger nurse come and look at me. She looked at my back and she was like, oh, that's really weird. I don't know what that is. That's weird. I don't, I don't know. And she sent us on our way. We were like, that's helpful. Thank you so much for this. So at this point, I was feeling like, I don't know what's going on. Am I a camel? I am up. I don't really remember what happened, we just basically went to lots of different doctors and we even went private because my mum had private on at the time with her job. We found out that it was scoliosis. Eventually we found the right doctor and he sat us down and he said, Girlie, you have three options, okay? Option number one, you can do nothing. If you do nothing, then it will probably get worse and you might experience chronic pain and you won't be able to do much because at the time, I wanted to study musical theatre and be a dancer slash Broadway West End performer. Um, and really, I really wanted to do it all. I was going to do ballet, jazz, tap, the whole nine yards. And I only really started when I was 16, 15. So at that time that I found out that I even had the scoliosis. Number one, you could do nothing, um, which didn't sound like a great option. Number two, you could wear a back brace, which is something that you'd have to wear through the night and basically all the time. And it doesn't stop the spine from growing. It just stops it in its place so it can't get worse. But as soon as you stop wearing it, it will basically go back to how it wanted to grow and grow wonky anyway. So it didn't seem like a solution, more of a temporary fix that wasn't right for me. And number three, you can have an up, an operation and get it fused. And basically they put titanium rods in and bolts and kind of straighten it up a little bit to help out your shoyoshi. I ended up going with option three, which is the operation. And it's quite a big operation to have when you're 15. When you're 15. Anyway, um, so. So I had to do lots of MRIs, x-rays, scans, and found out that I had the severe scoliosis and that I needed to get the operation. So had the operation, it went well. There was a couple risks that I was a bit scared of. Um, one of them is there's a slight risk that you could get paralyzed because it's such a big operation and either coming in on your spine, spinal cord, if they ended up getting the wrong bit, it could mean that you end up paralysed. Um, again, it's a low risk, but something that I was a bit worried about at the time. Um, I can't remember the other risks, in fairness. It's just the fact that you know that you'd have to relearn how to walk and you won't be as mobile and able to do things like you normally would for a bit. Which was all fine. So, had the art done, woke up, I was high as a cat in all muffin. I remember I was in the hospital and I was waving at everyone like this. Hi. Hi. And if they didn't wave back, I literally was like, oh, rude. 
and that is literally an inside joke but I have my family now we're going rude rude because that was rude they don't like back had the most amazing nurses helping me and I was only meant to be there for three to five days I ended up being there for a week because this is TMI but you're not allowed to leave until you've done number two to say hello and poo poo and um I didn't I even had to get an enema which is a water a tube and they shoot water up your end so you poop and they give you all these medicines that make you poop but I didn't poop so let's get the enema yeah. wouldn't recommend wasn't fun for me but I got sent on my merry way home and basically had to stay off school for six weeks at the time I was like yes no school but I basically had to lie down on the sofa because I couldn't walk upstairs I couldn't do stairs I could barely move I could not lift my arms up higher than here I could not shower myself I could not clothe myself so it's a long recovery process of having to accept the fact that you know, you're not as able because you just have massive spine operation but for someone who's adolescent and growing up it was quite um, a big change that I did. didn't like it very much it was a bit painful physically and on the old mental health um, but I got put into physio for six months where you do your little exercises you try and do the strengthening exercises to basically straighten out your spine but I basically refused to do all of it because again my mental health wasn't thriving at the time but I didn't kind of realise it was a mental health thing um, so I just didn't want to do any of it I lost interest in everything, I didn't really want to eat anything I didn't want to see people, I was just a bit in a bad way but um, it's okay so I did the physio, got better, and now really the only things I can't do is like bend my back. So if I try and, uh, I can touch my toes, but I can't bend my spine. It looks a bit like a tabletop, so I go like this instead of this. <laughs> I have limited twist, twistability, and that's kind of it. It used to be really painful, so I would get really bad stabby pains which I do get sometimes still um and just a really dull ache all of the time which didn't go away for a few years I'm 22 now so seven years ago seven years ago so for about five years it was still really painful all the time and I generally thought oh that's never gonna go away luckily it has gone away and I don't really feel it on the day to day um, I've done, I managed to continue with dance, especially in the lockdown. I did a lot of dancing then, and it's not stopped me from doing anything that I wanted to do. And it's not really been an issue um, in any way, shape, or form. And I'm trying to get my mental health into a good place, and my spine is what it is. And it was a massive operation to go for at such a young age, but I'm really grateful that I was able to have the up and get through it and I still have the scoliosis but it's, it's better now it's a lot better than what it would have been if I didn't go through it so if you're going through it right now it's okay um there's other people and it's chill and if you need to talk to people do reach out to your friends or family or anyone that you trust because and trust me in this time you'll want to talk to people even if you don't want to it'll be for the best because it's really quite lonely um, the recovery process because six weeks is quite a long time it's over a month and in that time you can't do much physically you can't go to school you can't see your friends so I took up reading I read all of the Maze Runner books <laughs> I, I'm obsessed with Dylan O'Brien so the Maze Runner books got me through they did I watched a lot of Christmas. Uh, I got my my back done in November, like 2015, last 15. And I watched a lot of Christmas films. When I was able to walk, we ended up walking around the garden center when it was Christmas themed, and that brought me a lot of joy. I just I didn't do much because you can't do much. Um, but just try and take it easy on yourself. Try and be kind because a, a big change has happened or a big change is happening. 
and you have to really take it easy with yourself because it is a lot so you know you're doing a great job do you have any regrets no yes I wish I'd done more in the physio um, but also I didn't realize that it was because my mental health was so bad that it was really impacting everything in my life so I wish I'd spoken out more and spoken to people that I trusted um, which is why I encourage anyone else watching this or going through a similar situation to reach out and speak to people that you trust. If I'd done more of the physio stuff then I probably would have not as a severe um, sticking out rib cage that I do because I didn't build up the strength at the time. I'd probably be able to bend a bit more as well. I don't regret not doing it because I didn't know but that's just something to be aware of in my case. You could take my case and kind of go, okay well I don't want to <laughs> feel like that girl. So. Can you feel the metal? Yes. I had a Thai massage for the first time a couple days ago. It was great but when she was getting into my back you can feel bolts because I have two metal rods and 18 bolts in my back which fuse the spine which looks like this so when someone's pressing into your back you can feel it but in your day to day life you don't really feel it you can't really tell you forget that you've got anything up in there um scarring wise it's a big scar that i had and it was like glued so it looked really horror movie <laughs> at the time. It's healed really nicely. I don't know if you can see it but it's here. I do get insecure about it sometimes but I'm trying to feel more proud of the fact that yeah I have gone through this but I'm better now and I'm trying to be more forgiving of myself and how I see myself and kind of go do you know what it is what it is. Does it affect your dancing? Yes and no. So no because I can do pretty much everything <laughs> to my ability in dance. I just can't bend my back so any back rolls or back bends are an absolute no-go but I ended up going into the more commercial dance space of so kind of hip-hop scene and the heels dancing and that doesn't really require back bends and you just kind of adapt around what you're capable of and push yourself but just be gentle with yourself. Do you set off at the airport? Beep, 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 because when you go flying on holiday, no, because it's titanium up in your back, so it doesn't set off the airport security. Um, so you're fine. <laughs> Is there any advice that you would give to younger you? Um, I would say just, I said it before, but be kind to yourself because you are going through a massive, massive change in your life and it's okay to feel things or to not feel things. You might feel a bit numb and not process your emotions. That's okay. It's a big life change that you weren't expecting and... Okay, my camera did something funny, but we're back. So, but there's nothing wrong with you. You are perfect still, perfectly imperfect. There was a lot of quotes. I was you know, you do research on the internet and Tumblr was a big thing in my day which wasn't the healthiest thing to look at at all because Tumblr really glamorised depression and bad mental health and it was not a good place to be and looking at and absorbing so, you know, stay away from Tumblr. But there was this quote that I kept seeing, it was from a pink song. You're not broken, just bent. Because you're spite bent. Find your comforts, find things that make you happy that you can do. Okay, don't get hung up on the fact that you can't do X, Y, Z, I can't do this, I can't do that. You should be able to. It's just when you're recovered, when you're in recovery, just be gentle with yourself. When you're going through it, be gentle with yourself, like it's okay. Just reach out to some friends, have a chat, try and have as positive a mindset as you possibly can. I know that sounds really silly when you're in, if you're in a dark place or if you're not feeling peak because you've found out you've got scoliosis but it's okay just try and be gentle with yourself and realize that it will get better um just keep pushing mentally physically just keep going you got this and i love you that's all thanks for listening to my story i hope it's been somewhat insightful if not entertaining 
and hopefully helpful if you are going through a similar situation. If you've got any questions, DM me on Instagram or comment them below. And that's that. Got any questions? Hit me up. And thanks for watching. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.